I guess as it does turn out, Coach, you, you do have a pretty good returner in, in Tyler this, this year. Tell me about, um, you know, tell us about that and, and how much better he is now. Well, it's been fun to watch his growth. Um, he knew a lot as a true freshman when he played, um, but not enough. Um, he really took some steps last year, uh, but he's playing at a different level right now. He worked extremely hard in the offseason program. He's probably bench pressing about 375 now. He worked out twice a day in the summer, uh, which has meant better velocity on all his throws right now and uh, uh, running better than I've ever seen him run. He, he's raised his game, and uh, he's always been a competitor and a winner. And you know, he, he wants to win one on one. He may want to win stretch some days. You know, he, he's, he's not going to accept anything but everybody's best, and uh, he, he motivates his whole team with his attitude. I know it has nothing to do with practice or the games, but whenever you have this particular day and you know and you're putting that shirt on and those guys are putting that you know and they're putting that jersey on, they're taking those pictures together. Is that is that just kind of get your brain going and realizing that hey man, you know the real thing is just around the corner? Well, <laughs> those ten practices I've done that too. <laughs> right. I'm sitting there last night thinking in three weeks we're playing Florida State, and uh, we've got this guy, true freshman landing back that's that's done really well and I'm talking to his mom and dad and I said who, who was his last high school game against and he said they said Baines and I said well how many was that your Baines game and they said well I said 800 and they said oh no not that many I said, <laughs> so you're gonna go from playing ba he's gonna go from playing Baines to playing Florida State in nice. Tallahassee in three weeks and and he probably will be on the field so right uh, it's exciting and we're looking forward to it. It, it the Florida State adventure has been a motivator to our guys they're mm -hmm. excited about this opportunity and we know we're playing a great team and, and all that, but it, it's probably put a little extra step in their workouts this summer. I can imagine that family and friends may maybe look at this as kind of a treat to be able to go play a team like Florida State, but but this is another game that you guys are, are, are going there to win. How do you how do you keep your guys focused and make them realize, hey, you know, this is just another game and and you know and this you know and this game belongs to no one, we have to go out there and get it. You know, they're they're pretty good about that. Uh, you know, I, I Ask the, we always ask the kids after spring practice to rank the, the games and you know what, what and their importance and what they look forward to and, and most of them just put the schedule in order. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've heard enough of my uh, lingo about what the, you know the most important games the next game and those kinds of things and, and I think that's one reason I really enjoy this team and enjoy coaching this team because the buy-in has been great, the team camaraderie is great, the the it factor that uh, last year's team developed has been so good. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they're, they're going to want a game plan to go do well uh, mm -hmm. against Florida State. And uh, we know we're playing a top four team in the nation and played for the national championship the year before and won it. Um, we know it's, it's uh, going to be a great challenge, but, it, you know, they're, they're excited about going and earning some respect. Speaking of that it factor, we were talking to Tyler and he said that was something you were wanting to regain from the last year. I know it's called the it factor because it's so hard to define, but what is it that you saw out of that team that they're hoping to see out of this team that defines that it? You know, not every team gets it. Uh, it is hard to get and easy to lose. And it, you can't say that it carries over. Uh, it's a chemistry or a connection or an accountability. Uh, again, it's hard, to, it's hard to describe. But it's something your team gets that just keeps them ready, sharp, motivated, feeling good about not wanting to let their teammates down. Um, it's the offense encouraging the defense. It's the defense encouraging the offense, even though they're tired and maybe want to go sit on the bench during the fourth quarter for the rest of the minute. Uh, and last year's team really started to develop that. And if we hadn't had it, we almost all of our games went down to the fourth quarter in the last drive many times. And if we hadn't had that, I, I don't think we could have done as well as we did last year. So uh, I wish it was just a, a given that it would be with this team. I think because we did have it last year, a lot of guys understand. But this is still a different football team, and they've got to go put it back together. Tyler was also saying that not getting to a bowl game would be a disappointing season. You guys have only been FBS bowl eligible for three, four years. What does that mean to see players fully buy in and, and to see the what you've been able to do to this program to get it to compete at such a high level in such a short amount of time. Well, we're proud of that fact. Um, you know, you go back and study the 
teams in the last several years that have made the jump. A lot of them have struggled for several years, and we've been pretty competitive uh, through that. And so we're proud of that. We're, but, you know, if you're not a little disappointed by what happened at the end of last year and disgusted, and, um, then you need to, you probably don't need to be on this football team. You know, you need, you need to have a little edge about you in regard to that. And I, I think our new guys are learning it because they weren't here last year, but our returners know exactly what we're talking about. What kind of a year do you expect out of, out of Robert Lowe? Um, obviously had a, had, had, a, had a productive year last year. Doak Walker, watch list, uh, he, he, you know, coming into this year. Well, we're hopeful in another 1,000-yard year. Uh, he missed one game last year, uh, the Tulsa game, with a little slight injury, and uh, hopefully we'll keep him healthy. And But he's certainly capable of doing those kinds of things. And um, Rob's pretty consistent. Uh, he has been since the day he's been here, and that's one thing that makes him pretty special. How pumped are you just about this offense in general, Coach? I mean, there's more playmakers than maybe the 99 Rams out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there's – it is exciting to have uh, an offensive line that uh, it's, it's taken us a long time to build an offensive line, and uh, you just don't do that overnight. And so that's exciting. And then having a quarterback back with the experience that he's had, uh, the tailbacks that we've got back, the tight ends we have back, and the receivers that are seniors that have played a lot of football. We averaged about 33 points a game last year, so we're all going to be disappointed if we aren't better. You know, and we, we, we know we've got some tough games on this schedule compared to last year when you talk about stats. But I think from a production standpoint, we, we have high expectations on that side of the ball. I think I'm the only one that's picking you guys against Florida State. I mean, do you, I, I, I picked Appalachian State over Michigan. I picked ULM over Alabama. Did you, picked... did you put any money in Vegas on it? <laughs> I mean, do, do you it doesn't mention count those if you games? Don't, right? do, do you see those games? Do you give these guys, hey, man, don't worry about the haters and doubters. Let's go in here and let's show them who we are. Uh, they have that feeling. I, I, this game was going to take care of itself. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to have to do a lot for this game. Keep them level-headed about it. Um, you know, they know that they've got a big challenge. We respect Florida State and what they've done a great deal. You have to. Uh, Jimbo Fisher's done a fantastic job taking over for, for Bobby. And it's a national game for us. It's a national stage. It's a, it's a team that was in the Final Four and won the national championship the year before. And, you know, let's go see how we stack up. You know, it might be ugly. We, we understand that. Uh, but... I think our guys are going to compete well and compete hard, and hopefully we're going to walk off the field that night with a, a degree of national respect for the Bobcats.